Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my City Skylands Japan series. And today, one episode three. As you can see, we're starting with an extra cinematic. This one isn't cinematic about the expansion of the main street, and the reason that I'm doing this is I simply didn't have any more space in the intro, but I still wanted to put it in there because I mean, just look at it, it's glorious. I love the amount of grass detail that I could add in this area and the amount of realism that this gives. This is just some kind of a thing that I wanted to show you guys pretty quick before we start building this. This is one of the kind of feelings that I want to do with the series. I want to give the feelings of an kind of realistic town and kind of also the old areas of it and the more abandoned one. And so I thought about it. I wanted to show you this just for a quick information. So that you guys can see what I what for the semantics I normally would scrap when I don't have enough space in the intro or actually also in the middle of the video. And with this, hello once again, now from an official part. And this is kind of like the thing that I want to do now more often, I feel like, that I can now show you a bit more what I've been doing. And so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing there and what I have done and also the cinematics that I would normally have deleted just simply because out of the reason that I would have wouldn't have enough space for them because before I was always deleting them but I just felt like I would have to put it in here. And first of all, thank you for 640 subs. This means a lot to me, I'm very very happy about this. We are slowly but surely growing and thank you all for this, this is just an incredible thing. Please keep up the feedback, tell me what you think about the stuff that I'm building, tell me what I should be building down in the comments down below, and how I can improve my style. Because as you all may already know or may not know, I have never been to Japan and I most sadly also won't be possible through Covid this year. Hopefully in another year I can visit it and then there will be definitely something kind of like a vlog. I won't be now one of the persons that is always running around with a camera on my face. I would mostly just show you short shots of the skyline or maybe just some areas like the train lines or something like this. So this might actually be something that I already considered to do for Vienna. This might be included in my European series. This is also the reason that there I haven't uploaded anything in quite a while. That I'm right now working on something there. It's kind of a special thing, just I'm not sure if I will ever release it, so you haven't heard this, this might be released later on, but also it might just end in the void and no one will ever get this to face. So what I'm doing right now, I placed the second train station on the second side on the second platform. Now it is a working line where we actually have trains driving around. We have the, how are they called? We have the Inoden series running there. And before I was using a very bland one and I've used this simply out of the reason that was the first one that I found, but I got the message from, I think it was Nile, that he, Nile Peter, I'm sorry, I'm completely butchering your name right now. When you're seeing this, you are, you, you, you were the person that helped me there quite a lot, so thank you. But he told me that it was a bit way too bright, and also the tracks were a bit too wide in the last episode. So I've remade this off camera to the narrow ones from Ronnie. And now I'm just building around them, and this is just something that I would imagine there being. And this is a shopping center, small one. It isn't like you would now imagine you be, you know, American one with a huge area. It's just some, some smaller shops on the back of your alleys and a smaller parking lot on the front. Just for the people of the village to get some stuff and to have the ability to buy something and don't have to drive into the big downtown. And this also leads us to the second thing that I want to talk about today, and this is the downtown. I will be talking this soon. I think I will be finishing off this village in the next or the next part or one of the next ones. I will be doing some off-camera works. This will be mainly placing in buildings and moving them a bit. You will always be seeing the progress. I will show it to you in the videos when I will have done them. But I just want to kind of like get this in a bit quicker and to get in some more interesting spaces for you guys because this one was totally fine for me but when we're coming to the point where I'm just building suburbs for 10 episodes this is simply not what I want to do there. I will definitely be showing you the process of building them and constructing them but not all of them. And I hope you guys understand this. Also I have to say thank you for your feedback on the last video. Especially for the fact where I ask you guys how it would be, how you think about when I cut videos a bit more. Because this is also what I have done in this one more. 
because here's what this is. I'm doing quite a lot of stuff right now in one video and I feel like I would have to split it off so that it's more interesting for you guys and then you can just see what I like to do and how I would like to do it. And we will also have a very good example of this in some seconds when we will be switching to building the pathway that is going up to the mountain, up to the retaining wall that I built there. And on top there, there will be a school. And so far about, okay, the children need a safe entrance there, so they will be having an elevated pathway going up there and it's kind of like a ramp. So that also people with with a walking disability or something like this can go up here and have a chance to go around in our city. And so I made it like this. It's nothing special actually, it's just kind of like an it is kind of like a slow pathway. And then I've just kind of put it there and that's it. This is actually a thing that I feel like I'm not seeing very often in Japanese cities that you have some stuff like this. It's quite an interesting thing. They have it in some places, but not in all of them, and then they have mostly elevators for this. But this is kind of like something that I'm maybe I'm just missing it out. Please correct me if I'm just talking there total total bullshit, but it doesn't seem like they have a lot of not a lot of access for people that aren't able to walk, but I'm not sure about this if I'm just completely wrong about this and if I'm just looking at the wrong areas. But please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I would love to hear it from you guys when you know more about this than me. What well, isn't that hard, actually? <laughs> so, yes. Here I've now laid out where they would be going, and the retaining walls, I've just skipped this once again, this was just kind of placing them, are kind of finishing it up for me. They're finishing up the look, and so I was like, okay, we now need a reason that the train station would be built like this, so that there is space between it, and the easiest way to do this, I felt like, was to build a temple there on the left side there. And we will be tackling this soon, we will be tackling this after the high school. But yes, here you can see a little preview what we are gonna build now and this is the high school there. It's just like standing on top of this village and looking down on the top of it and this is just something that I thought about looking very very cool. I was very very happy with this. And this is also the thing that I now want to do more often in my in my videos kind of have an in-between cinematic video where I can explain a bit and here you can also say we have a tiled floor there soon on the shopping center and we will be building the high school now so we are now flying to the high school what we're now gonna building and yes there you can just see the whole picture is coming together pretty nicely quite nicely for me and this is just something that I wanted to do there and that gave me the point of realism that I would say that I would want to achieve there also, this is the first episode where I'm really going crazy with nature detailing. And I've actually looked down, it should be possible for myself to do this for the whole city. And it won't be easy. This would be a lie when I would say this will be very easy, but this is actually possible for me to do. And so I said to myself, yes, I will be doing this. We will be having a very high detailed city in the end. This is the first series where I'm also even kind of like this looking if it is possible for me from my technical specs from and if it's realistic for me that I have the ability to build in an excessive amount of detailing like I want it to be. And yes, so what we are building now is just a little stop signal there for the crossing because I felt like it wouldn't be very unrealistic to have one without a crossing. And this is a European one. I will have to find the Japanese ones. I'm very sorry for this. This is also why I haven't placed more of them. And it's just a try for me right now if it looks good. And yes, it does in my opinion. So we will be working around this soon. Here I'm using the prop versions of the trees to have them on the same height as the school. Because this is kind of a problem that I think we all have encountered at one point. That the heights with the PO surfaces are sometimes weird beneath it. Because it is actually on the bottom level there of the train station. But I wanted to have it on the same level as on the school. So I had to trick to cheat a bit myself here. Now I'm just adding in PO grass. Once again, same reason. And I've just skipped this whole set, whole thing. It's just, I place it, copied over, place it, copied over, place it, copied over. You guys don't want to see this, trust me. It's very boring. And yes, I'm now just making kind of like this area finished. I was thinking like, okay, what would be realistic next to an kind of sports field there? And then I got the idea to just make it a paved area with some tiles on it. And the reason for this is why I thought this would be realistic. It's kind of like this would be the kind of court where they would be waiting in the in their pause and they would be eating something or maybe just playing some games 
And this is what I did there. I just placed it and then just added some bushes to the next to the school. It turned out very nice in my opinion, so I'm very very happy about this. Also this whole thing is just an experiment of myself with heights, because as you guys might know, I love to detail nature, I love to place trees, I love to place rocks and stuff like this, but I'm not very good at making kind of height city and have a city with a lot of height differences, so I was like, yes why not, I'll give this a completely shot, I can completely try out there and just try to get recreative and try to get something realistic in and this is what I did there and I just went for it and it wasn't that bad I feel like. I feel like I could have done it way worse and this is also kind of like the thinking that I wanted to do there not the thinking, the thing that I wanted to do there and yes here I'm just once again adding in grass that looks realistic adding in some cypresses just the thought they again giving this a schoolish look I would say because schools in Japan aren't are quite different from ones we have in Europe so I can't say a lot about them I can just say what I know about them from friends from me that live in Japan and they're saying like they have very 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 clean shoes clean schools and also very very hard tests so they have kind of like this pressure that we don't even know in at least Austria I don't know how it is in other countries so if I'm now if you know if you feel like you can do it with the same, the same hard ones, it's probably like this, I'm not sure. I'm not that well informed about schools around the world. Not kind of like my main theme of interest in for city scouts. But yes, this is kind of what I wanted to do there. I should, maybe should add a high fence to the, to the football field. We'll be seeing about this, I might be trying around with this in the future, but for now I just left it there. This area will be unfinished until next episode or even longer. Reason for this is that I want to add in here another school. But I still don't know how I want to add it in here and how I want to fix them in I would say. Here I've tried to using an, a very bright tree. And I'm not sure about this, please tell me what you think about it. If I should keep using them or not, I just removed it for now because I wasn't sure. But what do you think about this? Please tell it in the comments down below if I should keep them or not. Here I'm adding now the cypresses. The junipers, sorry. And the junipers are giving a very very good look to this. I'm very happy about this. And now I was getting to this area. And I knew, okay, I want to have a temple here or something like this. And at first I wanted to make some small shops around this because... Like we humans used to, there would be always be shops and... It didn't fit. It is still a work in progress, the temple, because I'm not happy with it, it's basically a vanilla building. I just peeled a vanilla building and deleted everything that I didn't need. It is actually looking fine, I think, but for the surroundings I would have to install some more stuff. Because I haven't installed that many assets as it would have been for other series of mine. But I might need to do this now. And I need, might need to add some Japanese signs and stuff like this, because I simply forgot them. And I think you all would agree that I would need some of them. And yes, so here I already know it will be going next to the train line. And first I tried to add in some houses here. But then I was like, no, this is a temple, this must be looking good and realistic. So I wasn't there very quickly getting away from this idea. You can, by the way, see a lot of high buildings that I have, replacing a lot of them. I will have to see how I want to do this now and how I want to do this soon. Here was the first one to do in the, in the middle of the industrial areas of the temple in the middle of industrial buildings. But this didn't work out like it should have. And here you can see the vanilla building how it was looking like. I just shaved that shaved down everything with merch fatigues. Not the most intelligent thing to do, but it is working out, so I was I was fine with it and I'm still fine with it. If you have a better idea, please write it down in the comments once again. This is sound like a very cheap thing that I'm saying the whole time but, it, time, but it's just kind of like for me the thinking that I would love to hear it from you guys what you're doing there for a solution like this because I feel like there are definitely people out there that are having way better ideas than me and theirs ones are probably 100 times better. And actually I think like this one of the buildings is actually looking quite okay. It isn't too bright, it isn't too dark, it is having decent textures, it is completely working out for me. It is not the best one, this is, I'm completely sure about it is, but... I felt like it is actually usable for this area. And yes, when you're actually watching this, happy Easter. It is right now Friday in front of Eastern and just happy Easter and I wish you and your family a very good time. Please all of you, please stay safe. 
stay safe in his times, it isn't easy, but stay in distance with other people, with your families, because then they will can stay healthy and we all can stay healthy and we all can survive this whole thing, because it is pretty important right now to at least stay together in minds, but don't go together too much in real life so that we don't kind of kill each other with it. It's really dangerous, please just don't. Just don't make make overextensive contact to other people. Just please don't. They don't want to have a lot of dead people after this whole crisis. And this is everything that we will say about COVID because I don't want to make a COVID video. This is no, no, no. Sort of thing here. This is kind of like the place in front of the temple. It is kind of like directly looking at the train station. And what I want to achieve with this is kind of like the look that this whole. This whole area is built around the temple, and the temple was there before, and now it's just kind of integrated into the picture of the whole, of the whole area of the whole village. And yes, had a lot of fun with this. What had also quite hard time, I have to say, but in the end, it is looking like I wanted to, because it's kind of like this backyard alley for me, and nothing too special, but still, I'm not too good with stuff like this. Here, yeah, I'm once again using the trick from Audivix, just kind of to size them smaller. This is just a thing that I now used to do because it's kind of adding in a lot of detail for the smaller areas. And yes, here I got in a house at the end, kind of like I felt this was kind of a cool thing. And this will be having some tables in front of it and the car standing in front of it. This is just kind of a small little shop. Maybe you can have like an accessoire shop or maybe an shop where you can buy stuff from the temple or to fund the temple, something like this. You can make your own story up for this, I feel like. Here I've actually used the vanilla thing, just kind of to have something there. And as long as you don't look too close, it's fine. <laughs> but I need to change this, yes. These are the things that I meant, I need to install some more, some more Japanese stuff or some things here. Here I've just rotated the temple that is actually looking forward, not looking backwards because it's looking into the mountain first. And this is just a thing that I have sometimes problems with to adjust them, but in this case I realized it, at least at some point. Now I'm here just adding cracks and the cables. These are just perfect for this, for making an old look of not too damaged, but also kind of damaged. And then I realized, wait. We actually need lights for the night, because we don't have anything for the night, it seems. So I was doing this. And this is kind of like this thing that I sometimes forget about. But here you cannot see it, me doing it once. And actually looking for a lamp that is looking kind of decent. And here I have these hanging ones, I really love them, I really really love them. I adore them, they are very cool. Having this yellowish tint. And they're giving a good look, I feel like. And for this one also I want to kind of like maybe do something for the night thing. So for the night shot we might be doing a cinematic where we're driving through the night with the train. But for this one I will have to find a cube map and I will have to kind of like adjust all the areas for this. And here searching for the perfect height for them. I think I placed it three or four times but in the end it looked pretty great. Great, sorry. And yes. Actually I would love to hear from you guys what you think from the series from now on, so please just write in the comments below what you think about the whole kind of detailing that they did there and if you feel like it's realistic or if I should change anything about it, please just tell me. Also when you're doing it in Japan, you can definitely criticize me, criticize me as good as you can, as that you can give me as many things that I make wrong and how I can improve them, because once again I wasn't there once. So please just give your worst slash best in this case. I would love to have feedback about it. And yes, so here I'm just adding in some more cars, just kind of like to give it the look that I wanted to. And there we go with the morning sun, and I have to say, I'm really, 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 really happy with how my LUT turned out. My LUT in this one is just on point for myself. It's having a very warm morning. And a little warm midday, and then there is the cold night, so this is fitting in pretty well for me. I'm very happy that I have it like this, it is giving a very tropical feeling, and it's just what I wanted to go here, go for this. Here I'm once again adding just a small AC unit. We will be placing more of them soon. I'm still just trying out and trying to get around the feeling of how I want to detail a Japanese city, because I don't know a lot about this. 
And yes, this is what I'm doing here. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy, but here I'm just adding in some more leaves to make it more of this garden feel. And yes, here I'm just adding the fencing. Forgot, forgot the fencing. I don't know why I'm forgetting adding fences and stuff like this, but in the end I got to the point where I realized that I was like, wait, there was a fence. There should have been a fence, shouldn't it? Also thing that I'm now doing regularly is adding in Odysseus because I'm always forgetting them and this is quite a dangerous thing because when I forget them I'm mostly using, losing a lot of a lot of things I built. But yes, here you can actually see me switching around which cars can spawn which not. We have a lot of vanilla buildings, vanilla cars, but some of them actually look decent. So some of them will be still be driving around and the others I will have to find a replacement on a workshop. This is just some stuff that we'll be doing in the background. This will be from one day to another switched. And yes, so here now I'm making just some garbage things. And I'm taking a look at what I already have. And I feel like I should be getting some more soon. But we will be getting them, so don't be scared. And yes. Here I'm now adding in a graffiti to kind of like this back space area to give the back alley feeling. And this will be in front of some, what's it called? Public housing, we would say. So housing that is owned by the country itself, or by the city itself, and where more poor people can live. Basically not poor people, just was a normal, normal people actually, just like you and me that don't have that much of money to put there. Here I'm working on an train crossing, and this is kind of a weird one, how you can just this, but I just skated it completely down into the ground now and just hit it and it's just just an unmarked one just with a light there. You have to watch out yourself to don't run in front of a train. But this is totally fine to me, I think this would be kind of realistic for this area. And yes, this is just what I did there. Now we're getting soon to the point where I actually am very happy that we're doing it. And this will be the ground detailing, the grass detailing. I'm finally back with it and I'm using it quite a lot. But yes, I'm very happy about this, so I will definitely be keeping doing it. I won't be changing anything there about it. Here yeah, I'm once again considering to switch it to light, the color of concrete that isn't dark. It is not that dark everywhere. And we will soon be placing tiles over this, some very old ones. It's very washed out ones that immediately remembered me about Japanese areas and that just like let me think about Japan. So it's like, yes, they are the look that I want to have. They are the look that I'm aiming for. Please give me to them game. And these are actually some brighter ones you could have part of not in real life in the game. When you actually have them by yourself, but I peered them and then just made them darker. And yes. I've got asked by person on Twitter in personal DMs if I can send them my what's it called? My assets and mod collection. And no sorry, I won't. Main reason for me is that I feel like everyone should make them by her himself or herself, that they can create their own style. Because I don't want to simply copy a style of another one, I just want you guys to have the poor freedom of just scrolling through workshop and taking what you like and don't just simply take what other people take, just try to make your own series and your own look. Because it will always turn out very good, so just kind of like leave yourself some freedom there and don't do it like other people do it, other YouTubers do it. But yes, so no, I won't be posting this. But if you actually want to do this, I can give you a help with this. These are actually the tiles that I'm going to be using. And if you want to do this, just write me down in comments down below. And we can then talk about Discord or Twitter or Instagram, what you have. And then we can be talking there a bit of how your kind of style should be defined and stuff like this. Here I'm now ending in these tiles that I mean and they look just great when you darken them down because they're so bright normally but this one is this is kind of like the look that I'm aiming for. This is also the passageway that you saw in the beginning cinematics and the entry shots. But we're going very slow this pathway to the train station and there's a train tra passing by. It's looking very lovely, I like it. This is kind of like the style that I'm aiming for right now and I have to say I'm really really happy about this. I should have been doing this way, way earlier in the whole serious thing. 
And yes, this is kind of like my first real try on Japanese st theme. When you've watched Funching and Region, I wasn't kind of happy that it wasn't looking like Japan, but this one is getting in a very good direction. And it is giving me at least the vibes that it wanted to give me. And yes, this is just a very great thing for me. I'm very, very happy about this. Here I'm adding in some more fencing, just to kind of fence it off a bit, more private space. And this won't be an accessible garden, this will be just a detailed garden. There won't be a door into this. This is just kind of like where some bushes and some trees are. Kind of like actually wild nature, you could say. And this is kind of like the feeling that I want to give this. It is completely fine, I like this stuff. And we'll definitely be keep on going with doing this. And yes, we are actually coming very close to the end of this, of this episode. I'm pretty surprised by this, but as you can see, we will be now finishing up this one. I will be sticking with you guys until we are detailing the train tracks, I feel like, and then I will be leaving you alone, because then I have told you everything that I have to tell you about this. Oh, and actually another thing you could have might be actually be seeing the collapsed... How is it called? The clipped garbage can. This will be changed later on, but... It's clipped inside of there because someone has made the entry points a bit wrong, I feel like, but... Maybe it's also my mistake, so don't count on me in there, it might actually be my mistake that I made something stupid there. But yes, yeah, I've now finished off this whole tiled area. It is actually looking kind of old, so this would be kind of like maybe one of the older areas of the city. Of the village, sorry. And one of the more original places and one of the places that were every everywhere here and all the time there. And yes, this was actually also really the point I was questioning if I should detail the whole area a bit more with grass detailing and nature detailing. And then I was like, yes, why not? What is the error on doing this? So I was just extending this, adding some bushes, and then I was already starting with it, I feel like, I think. But at first I just detailed the garden once again. Garden detailing is always something that I enjoy. It's pretty simple for me. Just adding in some grass and some irregular grass looking stuff. And then just adding some bushes and trees and feel finished. This is a very easy thing to do. I sadly don't see that many people doing it. And I always see that it's like so much FPS eating, I mean, yes it is, but it's also giving a great look. So I'm totally fine with it eating some of my FPS up for stuff like this. And yes, actually we already have the first people now in town since the last episode. And now we already have people going around the city and I just love them to see using my secret passageways in the backyard alleys. And this is giving so many details, just simply love it. So I've now added this small space in here, just some garbage here, and then I was looking like what else does I have here, and I will be making some more pre-assets for this that I can see what I can use, that I can always just copy it over and over and again. And here you can see what I mean where I've actually looked at them just running around here for a minute, just to see them using it, and this is just such a relief for me that I think it's working like it should. Should have been doing it way earlier though. And this is a thing that I will now try to add in into every single series that I'm doing. Here I'm now just kind of sorting them off a bit and sorting the gardens a bit, but now I'm just here adding in a fence once again, that you can't forget it. And now I've started to look at what I can add there. And there were these bushes at first, and there is these roses, and I was like, yes, they're looking very good, I don't need them. And there was like, hmm, well, I have these weeds and salt, I think Desi's, Desi's he's called, I'm not sure. And I was like, hmm, yes, let, let's give it a shot. They can already see them, and I'm now just adding them in everywhere here, and this is just giving such a great look, and I was like, okay, I need to do this. At least next to the train, then we'll be going for a train. Also some flowers, the flowers are also great too. They are very lovely. They're just visible from the distance, but this is fine. Not visible from a distance, sorry. But this is fine to me, it is working out like it should. And yes. So, there I'm already just adding in buildings and taking a look at them and how they're looking like and how I could be adding them in here to make it kind of look like and there would be on top the living room of the people that are actually working there. And this is just something that I want to add in for the small detail. Because these would be pretty much people living also there and they're just looking out there had a lot of fun with doing this, it is kind of like moving buildings into each other, it isn't that easy to do, I just love the fact of that we are able to do this with PO, so far but I might also want to use it. Here I'm adding in stains to give it some more road texture, 
like I already did in the uh, second one in the first episode. And yes, this is just what I wanted to do there. And then it was looking like how this whole train station was looking like, and I'm very happy how it is coming together. And this is just the main thing. Trains will be a very big thing of the series, but I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to use them, but I'm slowly going through the right direction, if you like. And yes, here I'm just adding in some kind of like grown up plans to get them in here to look like they were all the time here. And yes. This video should, by the way, go up on Sunday on... Let me actually have a look which day this is. This will be Sunday the 4th. At least I hope it will be there when it's released. And if not, it's completely my fault. I just fucked up something that, but I feel like I should be able to do this. Here I'm just looking at upgrading them just to this like stone looking one because this is a bit better for me and my feelings, like not the concrete one. A bit better fitting to the theme. And so I did this here. And now you can already see how this whole area is coming together. I'm very happy about this. Please write me your thinking about this down, if it's realistic, if I should change it off completely, if I'm just crazy there. Just tell it me, I would love to hear it from you guys. I also love that the train texture is now different on the train gravel one, from the normal one. This is also giving an in-depth look there, and I just feel like this is, this is right, this looks right, it seems right. And yes, here I'm now adding in everything, and yes, we're coming very close to the end actually. And this is kind of like the detailing when you don't know me that I love to do. So if you're up for nature detailing in a Japanese city or in a European city, I'm doing it right now too. Stay with me, stick with me. <laughs> so this is kind of like a self-advertisement point, but this is what I like to do. And yes, with this one, I will now leave you. We've detailed this whole area here and it's looking perfect. This will be what I'll be doing for all of the episodes now. And yes, I will now leave you alone with the rest of it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please show it to me for a like. If you're new, please consider subscribing to me. And until the next video, have a great time. Bye!